Hi, I'm Mira, and we are here in Chinatown for the Big Print Project. We have 12 artists working on 11 boards that are four by eight feet tall, and the theme is a um, combination of the Chinese-Canadian artists and First Nations. Chinatown Big Print Project has been absolutely amazing. I think there's such a, a great energy, and the people that are here helping out with the inking, the printing, uh, driving that steamroller, it's been a lot of fun. I am the co-artistic director of Creative Cultural Collaboration Society, and we were successful in securing funding through the City of Vancouver Great Beginnings Program to undertake a project where we could work with six First Nation visual artists and six uh, Chinese-Canadian artists. When we started the Big Print Project in 2014, overall concept was to introduce printmaking on a grand scale, both initiating artists to the idea and making an event happen around it that was several days of celebration of printing. And this is fun, it's like a performance. It's a lot of work and we get people that don't know how to do stuff. It's amazing when, you're, when you start telling these little stories of your background, there's always uh, some connection with somebody else in the group. It's true when they say the world is small. We're discovering interconnections between both the Chinese community and the First Nations community. It's just been a real insightful uh, one in terms of the connection between those two cultural communities that we weren't aware of. So it was great to be called on and to be a part of this 2016 Big Print project. It's a great location and a great opportunity for me to share both my cultures, um, being half Chinese and from the Squamish Nation. What a good idea to talk about the relationships in the past between both uh, the First Nations community and the Chinese community, which is more separate nowadays, but in the past, the two communities were very connected, so there was intermarriage between the two cultures. Thematically, what was interesting was bringing together these two distinct groups to reflect something of that history and that kind of cultural fusion between the Aboriginal and the Chinese communities. There's a real camaraderie down here. This whole thing is that idea. I wanted to engage people in making prints. You know, making it as an artist, it's about being a good artist and working on your craft, but it's also about being in the community, paying your dues to the community and being involved. You learn more when you work within a community setting than you ever do in working by yourself. We collaborate in an invisible way, but at the same time, uh, when we're ready, we get together and it's great synergy that's happening. I was really thrilled to work with other artists. And it's also great to be part of a team where everybody's really excited about helping out and printing. It's always way more rewarding. Working in collaboration with other artists, community groups, I think it, um, it brings a richness to the project. You find out how little differences there are between people when you collaborate on art. You get into each other's spirit and then all of a sudden we're just one family. Yeah, it's a good experience coming out and being part of this. You know, just to have participation in the community, seeing everyone getting together. Yeah, the more everyone gets to know each other, from different backgrounds, I think there's a lot of similarities we can all find. We have several different stations. We bring the block that's been carved and sealed, and then that gets inked. We've got the master printer rolling with the roller and the ink. We then carry the print over to where the steam roller is. The printing station is uh, blocked off with other wood so that we know exactly where to place the paper or the textile as it goes down. We need a lot of people who have clean hands. Then a felt is placed on top. And then we put a board over that. We get another cloth, and then the steam roller gets fired up. It actually becomes the press on that paper or textile where the ink gets transferred. Everything has to be revealed and the reveal comes with a nice peeling back of the textile or the paper and you end up seeing this amazing print. We've done 36 blocks now. Not one of them has even looked similar and that's because everyone's an individual. I think that there are greater stories behind each and every one of them and we haven't heard them all. Because this is an Indigenous Chinese project, I wanted to incorporate different aspects from my culture and uh, from what I understand about Chinese art. It's an amazing uh, experience and this is the largest woodcut ever done. And I think I'll be doing more in the future, but in a smaller scale. What um, inspired me to do the design I have is an eagle representing protection. And below we have three koi fish representing life, prosperity, and strength to overcome life challenges. I think that speaks to uh, Chinese and native cultures. My piece is all about food and history and our family. And my family's been here for over 120 years. 
and I chose ginger because it's the root of all Chinese cooking. I've always liked that image and I thought, well that would be fun to just use that and do it my style, Anishinaabe style, Ojibwe style. And a lot of my work is, is uh, centered around my cultural heritage as well. My, my piece is more about, about a journey and exploration and transformation. I always like to use some text, but when you're painting, you just write, it's no problem. But for woodcut, it's a challenge. It's a real conversation. That's why when you look at the piece, you'll see it just flows one into the other. All of my images are about native themes and stuff and family. I go from figures to landscape to abstraction. It's telling a story about the raven kind of bringing the light forth to everyone after uh, taking it from his grandfather in a box, kind of just to create a universal story that kind of relate to everybody, I think. Created this piece, Speak to Us in Friendship, to celebrate the long history of relations between Chinese and First Nations along the Fraser River. The two feathers I've created represented friends drift together in the wind side by side. Our ancestors knew that walking together with a friend in the dark is better than walking alone in the light. While creating this piece, I was thinking about the closeness of friends past and present between both of our cultures. To watch a steamroller do this printing, I think it was really exciting for, for mostly everybody who came too. They come and there's so much interest in it and it's just really to engage with them, right? And, and some people have been coming back every day, so it's, uh, it just goes to show that there is a, a huge interest in this. In the last three days, meet some people come here. So a lady comes three days every day because she told me she learned a lot from us because she saw all the process. What's interesting is that the public has followed that process, so they go with us from one station to the next. Bring the block over and then we layer it and it takes so much time and so much work and so much effort to get to that, to that point. But I'll tell you, it's all worth it because once we start to take the layers off again and we just peek under the corner just to make sure that it's been registered properly and we just slowly start to unveil and the reveal is just such a beautiful moment for us all.